came in super low this month because your girl is having the midterms. So I feel like I should pick more books, but realistically, I never read what I say I'm actually going to read, so is there a point? And no. And today I'm here with my November TBR for 2017. So I kind of picked some like bigger books. So hopefully that will make it seem like I'm reading a lot, but we'll see. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book that I have, you are all going to be very happy about because you've been bugging me about reading this book. It is the fourth Harry Potter book, The Goblet of Fire. I've been doing the reading Harry Potter the first time as a 21 year old. I'd like to point out it is now as a 22 year old because my birthday was on a Sunday. I'm going to do one of those vlogs, don't worry, but it's going to happen during my reading week for university so I have no classes so then I can actually read this uninterrupted. Is it gonna happen? We'll see, but hopefully. The next book I have I'm actually almost done because I started reading it in the end of October. It is The Enemy by Charlie Higson. The book follows the world after a disease broke out that causes all the adults or people over the age of 18 to turn into like zombies and all these kids hide out in a supermarket and are like working together to fight these grown-ups. It's really interesting so far. I don't know, half the time I'm kind of like, what's happening? But I'm enjoying it. I'm pretty much done. I'm on page 314 of like 400 and something, so I'm definitely gonna finish this book, so check out my wrap-up when it's up and hear my full thoughts. But so far it's pretty good. The next book I have is The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter. Or Slaughter, not 100% sure how to say it. I'm hoping it's Slaughter though, because then it's like murder and you know your girl likes herself some thrillery things. This book I've heard so much about, so many people have been loving it, and since I am a big thriller fan, I'm hoping I do too. The book follows Charlie Quinn. 28 years ago, her family was torn apart by a brutal crime in her house, which left her mother dead, and her father, who is a notorious lawyer, devastated. The book takes place 28 years later after the crime was committed, and then a another crime is committed in her hometown where she is now a lawyer like her father. She ends up being the first witness to the crime scene and it starts to bring back a lot of the memories that she's been trying to forget from her past. Everybody seems to love it so I want to love it too. I've actually already started it. I'm about 140 pages in and so far hecka good so Hopefully it stays hecka good. Then the final book that I chose is more of a like teeny tiny book that hopefully I can speed through so I at least get one book done. It is Choker by Elizabeth Woods. This book follows 16 year old Kara who moves away from her best friend Zoe after a very embarrassing event that takes place in her school cafeteria. All the kids are calling her Choker. Kara is considered a loner at school but she has always had this crush on a boy named Ethan and always wished that she could talk to him. Then... When she comes home from school one day, Zoe is sitting on her front porch and tells her that she actually ran away from home, so Kara decides to help her hide from her parents. Zoe gives her a makeover and she becomes this whole new girl. She is then invited to a lot of parties and becomes super popular. She's able to flirt with Ethan whenever she wants. But then a girl in her town goes missing and everybody becomes a suspect, including Ethan. I'm thinking that it's like a YA attempt to be thriller, hopefully I'm really hoping it's a thriller but we'll see because I don't want it to be contemporary but it doesn't sound like a contemporary you know what I'm saying hopefully thriller we'll see when I read it I'll let you guys know all right guys so that was my super itty bitty teeny weeny yellow polka dot bitty <laughs> TBR for November let me know down below if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video goodbye <laughs>